This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. It's a great source to buy all your codes to play the Pokemon trading card game online. As you can see, they have a large variety of codes at reasonable prices, and they provide instant email delivery on purchase. If you make a purchase, if you use the code CABIGON5, you'll receive 5% off your order. Check them out and let them know I sent you. What is up, everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. Had some good luck today. I've been to the old Bic camera again. I got two more boxes. Um, yeah. At this point, it's kind of just foolishness to buy more. I have very few cards left to get in the set. I'm kind of just hoping that I can get lucky and get one of the really expensive ones so I don't have to buy it. But, to be honest, at this point, I probably could have just bought them instead of buying these boxes. But, I'm just hoping for some good luck. So, this is box number eight. I want to say. Again, same shop. They uh, cut the plastic off, which kind of stinks, but not much we can do about that. But they seem to have have it in stock, so um, yeah, happy. I just enjoy opening this set. It's very fun to open. So let's see what we got. Just hoping. We have to get really lucky to get something we don't have, but if we're going to get doubles, let's get some good doubles. That's all I ask. It's kind of asking a lot, to be honest. We got the shoes. Okay, we got the weird deer. We got a ditto. Alright, we got Greninja. First pack. Alright, so Greninja was the one I was looking to get. And then... I got it last time, and now we have another one. So, I one stupid thing that I did, I forgot to buy sleeves. So I have like some Ultra Pro ones that I got from Mystery Packs. So these are being reused, which kind of sucks. I'll have to put them into some better sleeves later. And the regular Vs can just get a plain old used sleeve. If you're wondering what I have used sleeves for, if I ever go and sell some stuff, it's just like, they make you take the cards out of the sleeves, so I have a bunch of sleeves laying around, so I just put them back in the card box, and uh, right now they're saving me, because I would have had to film this video with no sleeves, which would be a bit annoying. Alright, what well, is in the second pack? Alright, we got Palkia. Get a boss. Get a beaver. And we got a reverse. No gold card. So that would be kind of one of the uh, ideal cards for us to get would be Dialga or Arceus gold card. Don't have either of them. Uh, also missing mostly just the trainer cards. The expensive trainer ones. So if we could get... Alessa or Irida would be great because they're very expensive. Don't really want to buy a $300 card to finish the set if possible. So let's get one of them. All right, what's this? It's a Mew. That is a good art rare to get. We got another Palkia. We have an Absol. We got a Reggie Gigas. So, as far as the art rares go, Mew, I believe, is still the one you want to get. It is very nice looking. It is probably the most popular one, I would say, at the moment. Get in that sleeve, Mew. So, that is a good one to get. And, um, Palkia. I don't know, people still playing Palkia. Not as much. It was very, very big. For a bit there. I think it's still popular, but not uh, not to the point where it's like every single person in a tournament is playing the same deck kind of deal. Maybe they weren't playing all the same deck, but you know what I mean. It was Palkia. There's a lot of Palkia. Alright, what about this one? Damage bump. We got a Giratina. We're getting some good Vs. Gengar. Zoroark. 
got a parasect. Cool looking parasect, but he is not who we are after. Alright, get in the dusty old sleeve, Giratina. My Mew is kind of... There we go. It's kind of hanging out the top. Alright, this will be fifth part. Okay, let's go. I don't know if people are getting bored of watching this yet. I'm still enjoying opening it, but uh Charizard. Keldeo. Okay, we got Adamant. We got the shoes as a reverse is a good one to get. It's the trekking shoes. Charizard. Get some decent hits for the Vs, but still a bit slow on our nice pulls for the box. We got a couple of the, uh, the special cards so far, but still the good ones to come. Mill tank, nice. We take it. Ah! Ah. Uh, oh, hold on. Ah! We got a, a triple pack. That was pretty good. The reason I'm saying, uh, I, I literally just bought this Zero Aura just the other day. Foolishly. I foolishly bought it. Oh well. And uh, the uh, Professor's Research, we do have that one already. So, all double ups, unfortunately, from this box, but it's still nice to get a double hit box, finally. And all the hits were in one pack, which is kind of funny. Alright, and we got a mill tank. So, I'm happy. Zero Aura is a pretty good one to get. It's definitely not the worst hit we could have got, so not bad. But, um, kind of means that the rest of the packs might not have anything. I think that we just need one more art rare. Unless there's some extra goodness in this box. But I don't think that that is actually possible. Arceus, that's pretty good. Now we got TNC, we got the big Basque Legion, and we got, oh, that's nice. Nice reverse. for you Arceus so yes we're getting we are getting good good V's and stuff one more art rare what would we like to get for one more art rare I'm trying to think what would be a nice one to get mm -hmm. I, I will take any of them to be honest but I do like that Mew it is good I do like that Mill Tank Alright, this one, the Zapdos, we have received a few times. Oh, we got another Zero or a B-Max. Let's go with our special one. So the thing is, I kind of feel like... Is there any point to actually opening these last two packs? But I don't know if there is possibility to get something else. Just, I think we pretty much got all the good stuff out of the box. We got three art rares. We got our SAR card. We got our SR trainer card, which is a bonus. We got our Radiant. I guess these are just going to be nothing in these packs, but I guess there's a possibility it could be something extra. So I don't want to. Oops! I don't want to take my take any chances. Got to open the whole box just in case. Yelga. We got Firebird and we got the Friends. I wish I pulled that card. So like I'm saying, it's it's honestly it's kind of foolishness on my part to be opening um, more and more boxes, but it's just it's hard to get and they have it in stock, so it's like 
I can't resist. Just on the chance that we get something good. But I think this and the next one will be the last ones. Just it's getting a bit much. Oh no, we still haven't got the energy yet. I forgot about the energy. Energy must be in this one. Zoroark. Pikario. Deoxys. Fighting energy. Fight, 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 fight. So, the box was pretty good. We got double hits. I'm... I'm happy with that, but... I, I wish... I wish that trainer was one that we didn't already have, but... Anyway, it's all good, so... Where's our good hits? Here we go. This is a double hit box. So, I would just say, like, if you're paying overseas prices and you're paying, like, 100 bucks a box, this is probably not that good. But for retail, it's decent. I will take it. Not bad. Just, we just, I just bought that card, like, a day or two ago. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, one more box to go, and then I'd say that will be the last one, if I know it's good for myself. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.